Okay, back in the van. Everything's set up, ready to go. We've got our solenoids and vacuums that need to go on here that we removed earlier on. The two on the solenoid. The two on the solenoids will go on to these two little brass ones here. The one on the far right goes on a pipe. You can probably just see it there behind your diesel pump or whatever here. Just in there, you can just see the shiny bit, metal. What you need to watch out for is this. This holds the throttle cable up by the looks of things, I believe. Um, so part of the tubing has to go here. So you're gonna fit this in two separate parts, essentially. Um, and this one sticking up off this valve and then this one with a one-way valve. The one-way valve will go down there. Just probably see a little plastic connector there. And way up here, I apologize, not my torch. You might be able to see there's an EGR roughly where I'm pointing there. Little EGR one that goes there. So that'll be this one that's sticking up off the valves. So let's separate it everything here and we will work from I think left to right will be easiest and let's make a start on that now okay what I've done is this is your vacuum valve side left hand side with the one way so this one going right needs to go behind that aforementioned bracket so let's do that there we go see simple now i want to root this so it doesn't catch on anything and it simply goes on top of the air inlet again small hands help here so if you've got a small child then get them to earn their keep that's one. Let's just see how that sits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's going to sit fine. Tuck it under there. It's on top of everything. And it's not kinked. That's the main thing. Now, before I button this down with bolts, it'll be easier to get this one into the EGR. Which is gonna be right in there. Let's see if I can get out of it. Just gently push it on the top of the EGR. I know it looks a mess at the moment, but that's okay. And this other pipe has popped out, but that's fine. See how easy it is. Just slip it behind there. Make sure everything tucks up and nothing's pinching. That all seems fine. I'll just pop that there to hold it. It's a little bit awkward then to get hmm, one of the 10 mil bolts in. And obviously what I've done is I've trapped that underneath. Okay, so let's get my electrics without undoing the pipes. That's the beauty of the flexibility of this silicon. Okay, so that'll be there. That's fine. Um, so what I'm going to do now, we've got our pipes, we've got our electrics, these two have to go on these two, and they're going to be fun, so ideally, it's that needs to go underneath these two, doesn't it, so... best thing to do really is unhook that side a little short one and then tuck in both your electrical connectors making sure you get them the right way around that's my worry
they only fit one way the two of them so yes that clicked and that clicked make sure they're on good and proper and get your short rubber again probably could have put it underneath actually but I'm going to put it over that's nice and comfortable but getting a 10 mil in here and getting a ratchet in there is going to be difficult so you learn as you do here so you're seeing real world hassle so I'm going to undo this one from the valve we know that's only can go there on the shiny bit so that's fine so what I'm going to do is make sure I can see where the bolt goes pop it in get it lined up and not lose it down the engine somewhere gently gently there we go we've threads a bit a couple of times I know it's not going to pop out then get the right one make sure it bites and there's a little bit of adjustment on these for some reason not much a couple of mils don't really know why so rather than connect that just yet let's get the rest of it connected before I actually pinch these bolts down properly just in case we need that literally two millimeters I doubt we will but you never know so now we're on the right side with the solenoids and this little rascal has to go down to that little tube so you really want to go just straight down there and hopefully you can see it at the bottom you should be able to see it down there the fun bit will be getting that on but while we're here let's just connect up our four-way vacuum pipe there pop that out of that yes we've still got our connectors to do now these go a specific way now you need to bend that down like that out of your way I'm going to just pop in my bolts one just because of the springiness of all the uh, the silicon <laughs> it's trying to and it's not trying to fight you but it's okay so that's all back there which is beautiful that's a nice fit back there and tiny a bit of adjustment there for some reason okay so with your two solenoids taking my gloves off now the one on your right goes on the rear metal vacuum pipe I hope you can see that so the right one goes to the rear right rear left front okay your right one to the rear pipe your left one to the front pipe and then tighten up all your 10 mil bolts and then connect up your pipes before you forget where everything goes take photos as you go that's the best option so we've come in from both the EGR and the inlet over here on the left up and down we've got all our pipes there we've connected both the electrical components to those um, valves these can only go one way you can see one shorter than the other so nearest to nearest click and click and then I just need to get this last one 
to fit onto the bottom one. And that's it. You're done.